My name is Mary Beth Evans. My character's name is Kayla Brady. Once Johnson, but not right now. <laughs> and I started the show in uh, 1986, May of 1986. I was here for six years. Then I was gone for 15 years and came back in 2006 and was here for maybe two and a half or three years, then left again for a couple of years and then came back maybe, I don't even know what it was, 2009 or 10 and then been here ever since. Right. Dun dun. Right. You, it sounds like you rehearsed that. No, I just had to, I, my brain was thinking it. As it was know, unfolding yeah. it. Go ahead, Good. step right up. I'm Stephen Nichols. I play Steve Patch Johnson. And I started in 1985, a year before Mary Beth, and I remember her first day. And uh, <laughs> I left in 90, and I came back 16 years later in 2006, and I was here till 2009, and now we're back doing it again. Yeah, it's they awesome. dragged us out of the dustbin. No, no. We're back. It's been a great love story for us, I think. It's been yeah, it's, it's great. Well, yeah. And it's nice now because we can revisit it as older people with kids, and it's neat. It's like real life. And, and our history, a lot of the stuff, we actually have that history, and they can show flashbacks from 1987. Or Which that's crazy. are always painful for you. Right? <laughs> well, it was a long time ago, but still, but still, it's cool. <laughs> it's cool that there, is that, that there is that history in our lives. You know, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Gosh, I don't know, my, my character was so uh, shy, more shy, and he was a bad boy, and I was the good girl, and and uh, and I think that my character's matured, and, and, and now I'm a doctor, and, and professional, and educated, and mm -hmm. um, we've raised children, or I've raised the children. Uh, but it's we've naturally <laughs> evolved, and I've evolved as a person in my real life, too. I'm married and have kids and all those things, too, and they've all grown up, and so it's sort of like a art imitating life and back around the other way, yeah. too. We're incorporating your real life. Mm -hmm. And Steve and I are great friends, so it's so nice for us. Patch hasn't grown one bit. <laughs> That's probably true. Patch he started out the most immature man in the world, <laughs> but with a heart of gold. Right. You know, That's, what set, well That's what sets you apart, I think. Well-intentioned, but always making the dumbest mistakes <laughs> in, in love. Uh, and Mary Beth, uh, Mary Beth, Kayla always forgiving him. <laughs> and Mary Beth. Uh, sure. And now I'm, you know, back now I'm, I'm realizing that at this, at, at this moment, Patch has to, he has to grow up a little bit. So I'm, I'm sort of, you know, uh, looking at what that, what that should be, what it looks like for the character. Uh, and they're writing it that way. They sort of want, they want us to be. To evolve. To, to have evolved. Which is and, really nice. And not be Patch and Kayla of the 80s. Right. Although, you know, my feeling is people don't really change that much. Mm. But in relationships, you know, they do, so. Well, they brought me back to go find Bo, who's been missing. And, yeah. and I, uh, I basically, everyone in town is saying, you're crazy, he's, he's written this letter, he's, he's not coming back. He said it very clearly. He doesn't want to be with Hope uh, anymore, and, and he's, he's left, he's gone. And I'm saying, no, that's not the Bo I know. He would never leave his family like that. So I go out in mm -hmm. search of right. Bo. And my mother, my mother has some problems, and so uh, the daughter and doctor in me is helping the mother, and right. there's a lot of that. And being upset with him to come back to town and to leave town again and not really believe him when he says what he's doing. It's quite... It's the stories are amazing. Involved. I mean, and everybody, it's as one thing layered. is ending, almost like one bomb, the flames are going down a little, another bomb goes off, and right, which right. is really like real life sometimes. But yeah. um, so it's been re it's been so much fun. It has been so much fun right. since you came back. Yep. Yeah. Since I came back. Mm -hmm. I think it's the I I don't know. There's some magic in what. Uh, the stories that Days of Our Lives has told over the years, and also, I think I really think it's the people, it's the characters. Yeah, they, 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 they always grew can't, these yeah. these great relationships yeah. between people, and the actors themselves, like Mary Beth and myself, from day one, we we had this connection, we had this Good what casting. they call chemistry, and yeah. you know Peter and Christian, Bo and Hope, and I think John the show and also they they cast they seem to be more real people. I think not just you know pretty boys or whatever, there's more real people. And also the generational thing here, 
um, and they're really getting back to that now too, I think, is the families, these Hortons and the Bradys and right. the Demeras, whatever, there were these families and all the generations of these families. And that's what's really cool now is because they've sort of reinvesting in that and bringing the kids up. And um, so I think that that has a lot to do with the people that people can watch this family grow and see us involved with our teenagers now and our problems this, which, you know. It's really history. People who, you know, the audience passes it on. They pass it on from, you know, to their kids and grandkids mm -hmm. and. Plus the show, I don't think this show, you know, it's Ken Corday has this show and it doesn't, it, it doesn't ever feel like it's a corporation or I think people here really feel like it's a family and um, I think that shines through also. Wow, congratulations, Days of Our Lives. I'm glad that we're here. I'm really, I'm so glad that we're here for this year celebration yeah, because yeah. we've, you know, this has been a big part of our lives. So it's great for us to be a part of this 50th year. Yeah, I'm really happy to be here for the mm -hmm. 50th. I mm -hmm. wanted to be here for the 50th. Mm -hmm. And I, I wasn't shy about telling people <laughs> I really didn't want to be here. It, the show means a lot to me. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And the stories are great now. I mean, the stories So are congratulations. Great. And if this medium is around, this show should be the one that lasts another 50 years. Yeah. yeah. Right. I hope so. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs>